Let's head to the next game on the docket, 977-978. Davis Martin and these damn Chicago White Sox at plus 195. Robbie Ray and the Giants at minus 225. Total at 8.5, juice to the under at minus 120. All right, beat up. So, look, I was on the White Sox yesterday. Third and fourth inning. I mean, third inning. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Top of the order comes up. Strikeout Sosa. Double play. Robert. Inning over. Fourth inning. First and third. One out. Two pop-ups. They get nothing. Finally, in the fifth, they squeeze a run across. They go up one nothing. top of the fifth. I'm excited for about, oh, 11 minutes, and then the Giants absolutely go stomp on them in the bottom of the fifth and essentially put that game away. So now we get to today's game. Davis Martin just has the one start. Looked okay. Robbie Ray has been really shaky, so I wonder, is there any nerves here backing Robbie Ray at minus 225, even though it is the hopeless White Sox? Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. Because because he can he can be a little bit wild, and and it kind of comes through uh, in his uh, oh the stuff plus and the pitching plus, which is good because he doesn't really have a lot of body of work, but he but those numbers tend to stabilize quicker, and so that's why I look at him when I'm when I'm betting a guy like this who doesn't really have a huge body of work. So the good news is stuff plus is 77th percentile. That's good. Uh, the bad news is location plus is nine percentile. So that could be deadly, uh, or I guess uh, bad for your bankroll. Maybe not deadly. You're not going to die if you lose this bet based winner. Come on, let's get on, let's not get so dramatic here. But, we don't want that. So okay, but so so here's the thing though. But the White Sox, worst in baseball with BBK plate. My favorite plate discipline stat in the world. Might be my favorite. Nah, it's not my favorite stat in the whole world. It's closer. It's top five uh, base yeah. winner stat. Point two eight is the White Sox that the only, they are a little bit above by, by hundredths of the Marlins. Uh, so I don't think they're going to be able to take advantage of his wildness. If you will, I've got this game priced at minus two seventy six. I don't like the giants offense. Uh, I've got them 25th oh. in baseball, but I really don't like the white Sox offense. I've got them 30th in baseball. And this is where, this is where the kind of rubber hits the road. I don't know where that came from, but mm. it, it it's kind of one of those phrases that people use is right. This is yep. where the rubber hits the road. Okay. The rubber hits the road on the bullpens because the giants bullpen uh, fourth in baseball versus the White Sox bullpen, 29th in baseball. So for all those reasons, I think the model's spitting out a good number, minus 276. It's in the market at minus 227. Going to make that the second leg of the base winner parlay. And when this hits, it's going to hit at plus 120, guys. So I'm, I'm really confident, obviously, Kyle, about this play today. I got to tell you, I was close to taking the White Sox again, and then I just decided my heart couldn't handle it because this probably Ray's been so bad. But I do like that you bring up the useless, you know, those useless sayings. What do you guys have for use? Like, uh, I'm going to give 110%. No, you're not. That's not possible. You can't. So one that literally... I hate. And I'm sorry, I interrupted. Go okay. ahead. No, one no, one on the interruptions this. there. Bing, bing, bing. The, yeah. To be honest with you. And the new oh. generation says this all the time. It's like, well, does that mean you're lying to me the, all the <laughs> yes. other times? Or at the end of the day? Though, to be honest, at the end of the day, it's like. Dude, you just used two in one sentence. That's being used a lot on Love Island. I am a huge fan of Love Island. The reunion was last night. And if you guys haven't watched the show, if you're looking to watch something other than an MLB show, uh, turn in, tune in to Love Island. Very good camera work there by those guys, Kyle. The Love Island reunion show at the B-Dub house. We remind you guys, you only get this in one place. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. All that good stuff. Vote on the chat poll play of the day. Become a member all that good stuff. And of course, once you've come up with your plays, head over to betustv.com slash join. Yeah, Corby, you got, do you have any annoying, you know, the, the coach speak? I like to make fun of NFL coaches, you know, like, oh, well, we're, we play, we're going to just gotta play hard for 60 minutes. And it's like, well, thanks. You know, that's completely useless. Uh, <laughs> what do you got? Uh, what do you got? White Sox, Giants, and anything else that comes to your mind, Corby? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's like, that kind of just like weird uh, connotation, but I say listen a lot. Like I'll be in the middle of talking, and then if it's like a sentence that I want, I in my head I, I I'm just making the sentence bold, you know, like listen, and and then say something that I think is important. I, I do that frequently, which I, I would say probably is in the same boat. It's something I shouldn't say to somebody currently already listening to me, but that's a whole different story. Um, from this game, I, I was really close to the over. My only worry, and it would be a worry towards the uh, giant side as well, is Patrick Bailey was scratched yesterday. Patrick Bailey is one of these guys. I love his swing. I think Patrick Bailey is going to be a very good catcher for quite some time. If you listen to all the interviews, like 
uh, the Giants are do that hot mic for players or pitchers that aren't playing um, in the dugout. It seems like every single one of them say Patrick Bailey is the best player on their team, that one of the best players in baseball, the biggest snub for the All-Star game, which I don't know about all that. But it's good to see that like he is so vocal in the team. The issue here is if he's out, it's Kirk Sally. And Kirk Sally, I think I, I might be able to bat better than him. So it hurts the offense a lot. If Patrick Bailey's in, I'll probably be on it over here. Uh, but that would be the thing that I'm watching. Uh, Kevin Hilmer says, anyone who says long story short never makes the story shorter. That's 100% true, right? As soon as they say it, I'm like, oh, God, this is it. I'm out of here on this one. Long story short. Oh, God, let, let me just 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 kill me now. That being said, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, there's all sorts of good ones. Useless sayings that people use way, way too much. I think the 110% drives me up. I'm going to give it 110% effort. I'm there's, like, well, you're literally, you're not going to, that's not possible. That's there's not, there's, there's a saying that I had in the basketball show. I cannot. somebody in the chat has to remember. I would say it every single, every single game. I cannot remember what it was. I never noticed. And somebody just started commenting it every single time I talked. Um, God. Oh, by all means. That, that's what it was. It's by still, all means. You say, not, it, all the, you say still, it all the time. You say I by all means. I never noticed. And you, you I say it a lot. It out. So, so I love my brother-in-law. He's a good guy. He loves sports, and he's a, he's a very good uh, player, of a, a better wise. Uh, but he says bottom line. Like, I mean, how many times can it be bottom line? In, in a minute, <laughs> if you say bottom line three times, it can't be bottom line, really. I, I think I do that too much, too. I do a lot of bottom line. When I'm being serious, like bottom line. And, then, you know, like like you're supposed to be taken more seriously or something. You know, you get that look, bottom line, and, you, and you're serious. And that doesn't mean a damn thing, right? It just doesn't. I love it. All right, we just uh, – we're going with who gives us the best chance to win. Well, no shit. That's what – I mean, we – Give, just do, you know, I went with a buddy of mine. I went That's with a buddy funny. Of mine. That one Not was to funny. get too far off here, but I went with a buddy of mine. To uh, He had his groceries he ordered from Walmart or something. And we were in the parking lot and the workers come out. This was like towards the end of COVID, right? To load up the back, of, load up his truck and put the groceries in. And it's, the guy walks out and I was kind of drunk. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit buzzed. And the, he, my buddy goes, hey, just, you know, there's room back there. Just do your best. And I'm like, do your best. Do you do you think they're just gonna be doing their worst on purpose? Like, why do you say do your do your best to anybody? Like, like and and Corby mentions couldn't care less. So many people get that wrong. They say I could care less, which obviously means that you care more than you could. So it's just stupid. Uh, you know, I was just gonna disparage. I was just gonna disparage Walmart employees and say, well, yeah, it's a Walmart employee. They True. might be into doing their worst, but but actually, my experience uh, recently, uh, we're doing curbside pickup at Walmart. Man, these guys yeah. were spot on on that thing. That was a great experience for me. So shout out to the curbside guy at uh, at, at the Walmart here at, uh, on Scotts uh, on Rain Tree rather. Uh, they did. They it was it was a tremendous experience, Kyle. <laughs> We got we got some people who say irregardless. That is not a word that gets them upset. At the end of the day, oh God, so much at the end of the day, you hear that. Uh, life is a gift. That's why they call it the present Ted Lasso. Well, you gotta love Ted Lasso. I'm not gonna disparage Ted That's Lasso. That's a good here. one. I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ted Lasso. Uh, we gotta great. start using that more on the show. What's wrong with this? Here's the thing. If I watch Ted Lasso and start thinking Ted Lasso, I'm gonna start talking with a weird accent and just everything's gonna go off the rails. So I cannot do that. I have to focus for purposes of the show. We're taking the Giants as the second leg of the base winner parlay, along with the Royals. Put those together, and I have on the sheet here plus 117, so a three-cent slight on the base winner's prices. But it seems like you've been getting bit more than you've been getting the extra hit. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, I, don't, I, I don't. I No, it does seem like that, it, both both figurative, figuratively and literally, in, in more ways than one, Kyle. <laughs> More ways than one. I don't know why the live button popped up there. I am not live button the white. I'm not doing it today. I'm just not doing it today. Let's. 